welcome. Welcome to Australia, welcome to Australian Book Travels, and welcome to the country town of Casterton, located in the Western District of Victoria. Within the municipal district of the Shire of Glenelg, Casterton is approximately 352 kilometres west of Melbourne, around 327 kilometres southwest of Bendigo, and is just 42 kilometres east of the border with the state of South Australia. The population here is around 1,670, with an average yearly rainfall of about 655 millimetres. The traditional landowners of this district were and are the Gunditjmara people. The Henty brothers of Portland arrived in the district around 1836, establishing four successful pastoral runs. Finally, the area was surveyed in 1840 and the town of Casterton was born. Named after the village of Casterton in southeast Cumbria of England, Casterton is an historic rural service town in a valley through which two rivers run, the rivers Warren and Glenelg. During the 20th century, Casterton was the victim of many natural incidents of flood and fire, which led to a number of rebuilds of significant buildings. The most damaging of floods was in 1909, with horrendous fires in 1901, 1939, 1951 and 1955. Casterton was once home to a cordial factory, kangaroo skin tannery, cheese factory and multiple hotels and inns. It is now the centre of beautiful and assorted retail shops, museums, art galleries and cafes. With year-round events such as the pastoral and agricultural show, racing and cycling events, drag racing and the famous Australian Kelpie muster, Casterton is definitely an exciting and interesting place to visit.
let's see if we can't tidy it up a little bit. contribution to the street library. Good job! Little known about Casterton is its role as the birthplace of one of Australia's jewels in the crown, so to speak. Derived from a breeding pair of smooth or working collie dogs from Scotland, with a possible mix of Australian dingo, although that has yet to be proven, the intelligent, dexterous and tireless herding dog that is the Australian Kelpie originated in Casterton in the late 1800s. Australian stockman, Mr Jack Gleeson, with connections to the area at the end of the 19th century, single-handedly began and embedded the Kelpie in Australian history. A lover of horses and dogs, Jack bought a collie pup, named her Kelpie and trained her to herd sheep. He then successfully bred her with another dog, with the intent to breed a working dog capable of withstanding the harsh Australian climate. Today, the Australian Kelpie is considered to be one of the most intelligent, nimble and athletic working dogs in the world, and their story began here in the town of Casterton. More on the history of the Australian Kelpie and its value as a working dog can be found at the Australian Kelpie Centre on Henty Street. With its museum and retail shop selling all things Kelpie, the centre is a must visit. Through the mid-1800s, rail played a significant and important role in the development of the Victorian economy. Built and opened in 1886 by Mr A.C. Finlay, the rail line running northwest from Branksholm in Victoria to Casterton was approximately 51 kilometres or 32 miles long, with an entire single track between stations. The substantial single-storey station, built in brick with a cast iron platform veranda, is in a restrained Gothic Tudor style, now described as the Casterton style, which saw a significant departure from the classical Italianate style previously used. The station has a central booking hall with offices on one side and passenger waiting facilities on the other. It is an important example of a rail station designed that arose from the Octopus Act of 1884, so called because the Act authorised a widespread network of new rail lines throughout Victoria. The rail line was extremely important for passenger travel in the area and the transport and distribution of local produce and wool throughout Victoria the Western District and down to Victorian ports to distribute throughout the world. At its peak, the rail line became so busy there were daily goods and passenger trains to and from the larger city of Hamilton. After World War II, both passenger and freight activity on the Casterton rail line declined and finally closed in 1977. The track was completely removed and rail land mostly sold. The station buildings are now a tourist attraction and are listed on the Victorian Heritage Register.
We are now at Mickle's Lookout, looking over the town of Casterton. That is one of the most amazing sights I have seen in an awfully long time. You can see how, well I hope you can see how hilly it is and that main road right through the main street there or the, the, the main the centre of town and how spaced out Casterton is. It is really quite a, a spaced town and district. That is amazing. You can even see, I'm I'm hoping you can see it in the video, but just along, there's a ridge along there and there are homes over, essentially overlooking the town, I guess. I don't know if they would be able to see over the town, but they're certainly a little higher than the township. That is amazing. And I, I don't know if you can see it here, but it really is quite steep looking down. Again, um, we went to Coleraine and that was in like a, a, a bowl effect. The township was in that valley and this is this is the same. The rivers run through the town so obviously the rivers at the, the lowest point and I would suggest that a lot of these towns of course um, sprung up because they were uh, convenient conveniently placed, the areas were conveniently placed near fresh water. So the fresh water rivers that run through the towns. Oh that's amazing. Absolutely beautiful view in the middle of winter. That is the township of Casterton.